have a little confession to make. My confession is that this sparkle tree pattern is the same as my rustic tree pattern, which I'll show up here. The only difference was the yarn that I used. I'm so in love with this pattern that I wanted to make it a tabletop version. So you can use any yarn you have, bulky, super bulky, two strands of something, it doesn't really matter. Here are a few pictures showing the different sizes that I use for my tabletop decor. I love making the super bulky and the bulky yarn together to have the height difference to add for a cute decoration. For supplies, grab some yarn. Today I have a super bulky Tough Puff yarn by We Crochet. I've used this once before on a pumpkin and I really like the look of it. For the super bulky yarn, I'm using an MN crochet hook and I'm actually using the hook that states on the yarn. If you use another super bulky like a lion brand or something, you can go ahead and stick with the same hook. It's an MN crochet hook, nine millimeter, and it's a super cool color. Um, and it's really comfortable to clover hook. Grab some scissors and a stitch marker. This one is an oversized stitch marker that's perfect for thicker yarn and it's like the best buy I've ever made. This is also another great buy. This is for thick yarn. It's a yarn needle that lets you open it up to insert your yarn and if you haven't seen this before, it's a total game changer and I love it. And then you can grab some sort of fabric glue that we'll use for our assembly. We're going to get started with the top layers. So we are going to start by making six single crochet into a magic circle. I'm going to start out with a slip knot. So I'm going to leave a long tail. I'm going to wrap it around two fingers, crisscrossing it at the top. And then I'll hold that tail with my ring finger. I'm going to push the back piece to the front and I'm going to pull up on that loop. You can adjust your loop with your tail by pulling it down or pulling it up. And then I'm going to insert my hook. From here, I'm going to tighten that around my hook and I'm going to get set up to chain two. I'm going to yarn over, pull through. That's our chain one. And then yarn over and pull through. In the second chain from the hook, I'm going to make six single crochet. So here's the first and here's the second. So I'm going to insert my hook into that second chain yarn over, pull through, you'll have two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through, and that's our first single crochet, and I'll also link my video down below. We're going to go back through that same loop and make a second single crochet. Go back in to make our third, we're going to make six total. Here is our fourth and we have a little bits of hair in here. Here is our fifth and our sixth. I am gonna tighten up this middle circle by just pulling this middle tight and then we will count our stitches. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. This will be our first stitch of round two, and then this bit here is just from our slip knot. This yarn does have some small black threads in it, and usually I would pick them all out because they drive me absolutely crazy, but I'm gonna restrain myself for the video. You'll wanna grab a stitch marker. I like to place my stitch marker in the last stitch of the round, but feel free to place it in the first stitch of the next round if that's what you like to do. For round two, we are going to make an increase in our first stitch and then we're going to single crochet in each of the next two stitches and we'll repeat that one more time. Here I'm going to make an increase which is two single crochet. I'm going to place my hook underneath that first stitch and then I'm going to make one single crochet. I'm going to place my hook back into that same stitch again to make my second single crochet and that's my first increase. Now I'm going to make a single crochet in the next two stitches. So here is one. Move over a stitch and make another single crochet. And now we're just going to repeat that. So we're going to make an increase and then two single crochet. Here is our increase. This is single crochet one. Go back into that same stitch for single crochet two. 
then move over and make one single crochet move over and make one single crochet so I always end with a stitch with my stitch marker when I place it on the last stitch of the round so at this point you're gonna have eight stitches you can go ahead and count we're gonna tighten up our magic circle and then make sure that your work is turned the right way you can change your stitch marker and then for round three we are gonna do an increase in the first stitch and then we're gonna make three single crochet so we'll make three a single crochet in the next three stitches and then we'll repeat that one more time here is our first increase we're gonna make two single crochet into the same stitch so here's single crochet one go back into the same stitch single crochet two and then we'll make a single crochet in the next three stitches so here is single crochet one two and three and you'll notice that your work is turning in on you so you just want to make sure that you turn it out every time and i do have a video on the right and wrong way of amigurumi and i will post that in the description box below so here is our second increase we're going to make two single crochet into that stitch and then we will single crochet in the next three stitches We will have 10 stitches at the end of round three. You can tighten up your magic circle for the last time. And then we're going to go ahead and change our stitch marker. You will want to weave in this little piece of yarn, um, especially on the large piece. If you wanted to leave it on the top layer and the middle layer, that would totally be fine because you're going to be gluing those pieces on. But I'm just going to go ahead and weave this piece in. Because this is really thick yarn and we're not really jostling this like a ornament or something, I'm just doing a quick weave in and not worrying too much about weaving in my yarn. Put your work back the right way and then we're going to start on round four. We're going to count our rounds quickly. We have round one, round two, round three, and then round four. So for round four, we're going to make an increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next four stitches. Here is our first increase. We'll make our first single crochet back into the same stitch, our second single crochet. Then we're going to single crochet in the next four stitches. Here's one, two, three and four and then we'll make our second increase so here is an increase single crochet in the next four stitches one two three and four at the end of round four we are going to have 12 stitches you can count that and then we'll change our stitch marker I just want to share a little tip with you so now we're starting round five and we're gonna make an increase single crochet in the next five we are doing single crochet for the number of the round so for round five we'll do single crochet in the next five and then for round six we would do an increase single crochet in the next six so if you ever lost your place you could just count your rounds continuing on we'll make an increase in the first stitch and single crochet in the next five stitches. Here's one, two, three, four, and five, and then we'll make an increase. Single crochet in the next five. I really quick wanna say thank you for coming to my crochet along. I hope you love Christmas as much as I do. I am an addict. I love it so much. I already started listening to Christmas music, so and it's only just the beginning of November. We're gonna change our stitch marker. At the end of round five, you'll have 14 stitches. For round six, we are gonna increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next six stitches. So here is our first increase. single crochet in the next six stitches
Here is our second increase. We're only doing two for each round. And then we're gonna single crochet in the last six stitches. You can change your stitch marker. At the end of round six, you'll have 16 stitches. For round seven, we're gonna increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next seven stitches. Here is increase one. We'll single crochet in the next seven. Here is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we'll do our next increase. And then end with a single crochet in the next seven stitches. I really like this yarn because of the softness of it, but I don't like that they have these little bits of dark thread in here. They're everywhere. And that is like one of my biggest pet peeves with yarn when they have weird bits of thread when you're using white or cream yarn. So I'm gonna rethink it if I buy this again in cream. But just so you know, the end of round seven, we are going to have 18 stitches. You can change your stitch marker. For round eight, it's a little bit different. In this first stitch, we're gonna make three single crochet and then we're gonna move over and make a slip stitch. Then three single crochet, a slip stitch, and then continuing on. So here in this first stitch, we'll make single crochet one, go back into the same stitch, two, go back into the same stitch, and then three. Move over and make a slip stitch. If you don't know how, I have a separate video for this. And then you can move over to your next stitch and make three single crochet. Here's one, two, and three and then move over and make a slip stitch continue to make three single crochet and then a slip stitch all the way to the end continue on and i'll let you count so i don't confuse you more We're reaching our last single crochets and then we're gonna end with a slip stitch. From here, we are done with our top layer. So this is our smallest layer, this will go on top. Go ahead and leave a long piece of yarn and then give that a cut. Instead of fastening off, we're just gonna pull our yarn all the way through to make a seamless join. Go ahead and take out your stitch marker and then grab your yarn needle, weave your yarn through your needle. From here, I'm gonna pull up on my stitch just to see which is the last one that I worked. And it was this one here. So I'm gonna move over one stitch to my left. I'm gonna go underneath both of those loops and pull all the way through. And then I'm gonna go back to my original stitch, this last one, and go right down the middle of the V. I'm gonna pull that through and it makes like this little faux stitch here just so it has a nicer join at the end. I'm gonna weave in my yarn 
and then cut that off and we will move on. This is our top layer. We need to make our middle and our bottom layer. So what you can do is rewind the video, work from round one through round seven, stop at, round, at the end of round seven. We don't wanna put the border on because we're gonna make the middle layer and we'll add a few more increase rounds and then we'll meet back at the end of round seven. Welcome back. So you have crocheted from round one through seven. We'll still have 18 stitches at this point. We are gonna continue with two more increase rounds. So for round eight, we are gonna make one increase, single crochet in the next eight stitches. Here is our first increase. Single crochet in the next eight, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we have another increase. And then we'll single crochet in the next eight. So the Christmas lover in me is freaking out a bit because we are in the midst of moving and packing and we are moving like on December 3rd or 5th, one of those days when the movers can come. And so I need my Christmas boxes like in the front to decorate like ASAP because I'm going to be freaking out a little bit. We're going to change our stitch marker at the end of round eight. We will have 20 stitches. For round nine, we're gonna increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next nine, and we'll do that two times. So here is our first increase. Single crochet in the next nine, we are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine and then make our second increase and then single crochet in the last nine if you check my community my youtube community um, you'll see that i mentioned because we are packing i was uh, trying to record my videos for now for november and december and i woke up at 4 30 in the morning i had my coffee already and i'm about to record and i realized that i packed one cord that I needed for recording and I was so bummed so I couldn't go back to sleep because I had already slurped down my coffee and I didn't want to search for the cord because I was super bummed so I didn't get any work done so <laughs> so you have to love moving it's such a pain in the butt at this point you'll have 22 stitches for round 10 we're going to put that border so we are going to make three single crochet into that first stitch and then make a slip stitch and we'll continue that here we are putting our three single crochet. Move over, make a slip stitch, then make three single crochet. And then move over for a slip stitch. And then continue doing this all the way around until you reach the end. I love having Christmas traditions and I always love hearing what other people's are. So you'll have to let me know in the comments below what your favorite Christmas traditions are with your family or your friends or just something that you like to do for yourself every year. I'm super curious. I love learning new ones and implementing them in my life with my little one. It's always kind of fun to hear what other people are up to. Continue doing your single crochets in your slip stitch and then we'll be done with the middle layer.
reaching our last single crochets here and then ending with a slip stitch. We are going to do the same thing by leaving a long tail and this was my doing. I connected my yarn. This isn't how it came. So I just want to let you know that I didn't have any fuddy bits with this yarn, but that was me. So I'm just going to cut that off. I'm going to leave a long tail because we're going to do our seamless join once again. And then I'm going to pull that all the way through. I'm not going to fasten off. I'm just going to pull it. Okay, that worked out. <laughs> okay, I'm going to ditch that other piece and now I'm going to grab my yarn needle and then we'll weave that through. You can take out your stitch marker as well. Pull up on your last stitch that you made so you know which one it is and then move over one to the left. You can go from front to back, pull that through and then move over to the stitch, your last stitch and go right down the middle of the V to make your faux stitch. Then you can just weave in that piece. This is our middle piece and I'll put the, the top one on just so you can see if you wanted to stop here, you could. For the bottom layer, you're gonna stop the video, you're gonna rewind back the middle layer and you're gonna work from round one through nine. Do not put on the border, just stop and we'll meet back at the end of round nine to work on the last few rounds. Welcome back. So you've just crocheted round one through nine. You have 22 stitches and we're going to start with round 10. For round 10, we will make an increase in the first stitch and then single crochet in the next 10 stitches. Here is our first increase. Single crochet in the next 10 stitches. Things get kind of awkward to hold when we're using such a big hook, but we'll get through this. Here's our second increase and then we'll single crochet in the last 10 stitches. I'm actually not a big fan of a big crochet hook. It really does a number on my hands. I prefer like that E hook. It's my favorite, um, but I've definitely made scarves and baskets and things with these bigger hooks but this M hook was the first like one of the few times I've used it it's actually really comfortable so I do love clover they have amazing hooks okay we're reaching the end of round 10 we'll have 24 stitches you can change your stitch marker for round 11 we're going to do the same thing we're going to make an increase single crochet in the next 11 and this is our last increase round here is our first increase, single crochet in the next 11 stitches. Here is our second increase and then we'll single crochet in the last 11 stitches. For this pattern, if you'd like to, you can alternate your rounds. I wanted to keep things simple, but because we're increasing in the same spot in every stitch, you will kind of notice that the tree sits in a certain way. And I just wanna mention, don't worry about that knot. That was my doing, it didn't come like that in the actual yarn. But if you wanted to, for example, you could do the first round, you could do increase, single crochet in the next two, and then for the next round, you could do single crochet in the next three and add your increase at the end. That's just an option that I wanted to give you. Okay, we're finishing up here for round 11. We have 26 stitches. We're gonna change our stitch marker and then we're gonna add that border round. So it's the same one, it is the three single crochet in the first stitch, slip stitch in the next, three single crochet, and then slip stitch. 
I'm gonna let you do this round in peace. Hopefully you have some Christmas music in the background. <laughs> um, go ahead and make your slip stitch and continue to do your three single crochet and then a slip stitch. Okay, I lied about letting you relax with your music. I'm gonna show you here, I'm about to run out of yarn. So I am gonna start my next three single crochet and I'm gonna stop at this one. I'm gonna pull the yarn through and when I have two loops on the hook, I'm just gonna grab another piece of yarn. I'm gonna leave a long tail and I'm gonna get up, set up with that new piece of yarn and just hold it in the back. I'm gonna yarn over and continue my single crochet. Then I have one more to go. So I just wanted to show you that that's how you can connect your yarn and then you can just weave in your ends later. Okay, back to your Christmas music. We've reached the end of this round. I'm gonna take out my stitch marker to do my last slip stitch. And then I'm gonna leave a long piece of yarn, give it a cut, grab my yarn needle and we'll do our seamless join once again. So pull that yarn all the way through, weave in your yarn, and then we will move over one stitch to the left. That was my last stitch worked. Move over to the left, pull that through, go back to my original stitch down the middle, and then pull that through. I'm gonna weave in this piece and then I will weave in my other two pieces. Here is our bottom layer. This is the largest one, and I'll show you how we put the tree together. Here are our three sizes. All we're gonna do is just nestle these in together. I like to use fabric glue to keep these in place. So what I'll do is just dab a little bit on my first few rounds. I don't go too far down. I just attach that first bit of the top. I'm going down about three or four rounds. So then I'll just plop in my middle layer and I like to really get that top bit smushed down so that it attaches to the fabric glue and then I kind of just pull it and adjust it as I go. I'm going to add a little bit more glue to my middle layer. and then we'll add our top layer. I do recommend after gluing it to just let it sit for a few hours without messing around with it. I smushed my top down to pull that. And that is it, you guys. That's your sparkle tree decoration. If you wanted to add something else, you totally could. Um, but for me, I just kind of leave it as is, flip it up and make a few different sizes. They look amazing in any color and I am in love. So I hope you are too. Thanks for joining me on this crochet along. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel as I'll have more crochet along and crochet tutorials coming up soon. Okay, you guys have a great holiday season and I'll see you soon.